The purpose of this tutorial is to give you an overview of a website called lucidpress.com, which is a lot like Microsoft Publisher. It allows you to create brochures, flyers, articles, and other templates on a web-based um, web browser. To get started, go to www.lucidpress.com and sign in with your Google account. You will want to access LucidPress with um, Google integration. Once you've logged into LucidPress, you'll be taken to a dashboard that looks like this. On your dashboard, you can press the Create button to get started and select New Document. From here, you'll be able to scroll and view multiple um, templates that are available. You can also select between digital and print templates if the um, type of file that you're creating is intended to be printed. Brochures would be an example of a template that would fall into the print category. I like this template here for this brochure, so I'll select it to get started, and I'll be prompted to give the document a title. For demonstration purposes, I will name this Sample Brochure. At this point, you'll be able to decide if you want to share this um, document with someone else by going to Share With and typing in their Google email addresses, or if this is a project that you intend to work on independently, you can select None and Save. By default, if you had selected a template, all of the text boxes and images will be in place for you already, but you'll be able to customize this to your liking. For example, to get started, if you wanted to delete an image, all you need to do is select that image and press backspace on your keyboard to get rid of it. To add a new image in its place, you can use um, this left navigation bar. Select the icon under the text box icon that looks like a picture, and you will be prompted to upload an image. If the students are using Chromebooks, when they use Upload, they'll actually have the option to upload from their Google Drive. If you're on a regular uh, Windows tablet, you can browse within your computer and select an image from there to use. You also have the ability to use Google Search here at the bottom and search for images within Google. Once you've selected a picture that you like, you can double click on it and it will fall into place. From there, you can use the corner boxes in order to change the size. You can also rotate the image if you want to, according to your liking. You can delete any of the text that's already in place here and type in anything that you want. You also have the ability to add additional text boxes if you wanted to by clicking on the T button on the left navigation panel. It will add an already filled in text box that you can move around and delete the contents of. You can also resize this text box as well. Uh, underneath the insert image button there's also uh, insert an image gallery and you can um, insert up to 15 images using this if you wanted to. Below there is a YouTube video option. Um, I haven't tried this on a Chromebook yet, but if you did have a video file in your drive, um, I'm assuming you could enter the link to it here where it says enter source and you'd be able to play that video um, from within here as well, as long as the person who's accessing this final document has access to, um, has access to the video uh, saved in that person's drive. So it would need to be shared um, with somebody who's able to access it. Otherwise, you could import um, a video from YouTube. Uh, however, YouTube, as you know, is blocked in our district, so students wouldn't be able to browse and find a YouTube video this way. But uh, LucidChart does have the capability that would allow you to import a video if you wanted to. You could also use the Insert Shapes uh, option here on the left, and there's some various different shapes that you could pick from. You know, even something as simple as a line that you could 
change the fill color of if you wanted to and change the position and the size however you'd like. There's also this option here um, to uh, connect to drive. I haven't had success with this. However, um, when you do go to uh, save your final product, there is an export to Google Drive option in the file menu that does work. Um, you'll be able to decide how you want the final product to look, if you want this to be a PDF or you know a JPEG, and then you can export that final product to Google Drive. So in the meantime, if this was something that was an ongoing product, uh, project, you could share this with users and they can access it uh, within their Lucid Press accounts and then see the final products within their Google Drive once they've been exported. So from here, this is the editing view. At the bottom, if you go to the icon that looks like an eyeball, you have the preview option, which would show you what the um, final product would look like to viewers. So this is what a view option looks like, and you can simply click on the bottom on the far left icon again to go back to where you were in the editor. There's also a comments mode where you'll be able to see comments that have been listed. You can type in comments here at the bottom if this option is turned on. and it will tie to the user's name. And just like within uh, a Google Doc or a presentation, you have the option to reply to that comment um, or resolve it. You can even reassign this to somebody else uh, who is working on this project as well. So you can go, if you wanted to add a comment to a specific portion of the text instead of a general comment at the bottom, you can simply click on the portion of the text that you'd like to comment on and then go up to the top where it says insert and insert a comment here and you would be able to see where your comments are along the side here tying to a specific portion of the text you also have some um, available features here within the top drop down menus um, as I mentioned before the file menu allows you to export your final project to Google Drive. Uh, if you are using a computer that has storage uh, available on it, you could download a copy of this. Uh, you could also print it and you go to that preview mode again, which is the little eyeball at the bottom. You could publish this to make it viewable um, on the web publicly. Uh, and then a lot of other options that are pretty familiar to most of us. Uh, saving what, you know, progress you've made, um, starting a new project, renaming the current project, uh, making a copy of this project, and then simply closing out. Within the edit drop-down menu, there's, you know, your typical undo and redo, cut and paste. You could also use the spell check option at the bottom or find and replace in order to modify the text. The view toolbar will just allow you to change your view of the project, either zoom in and zoom out um, to suit you know, your viewing needs. The page drop down menu, you can, um, if you wanted to, you can duplicate a page if you had um, worked on a single page of the brochure and you wanted the second page to look very similar, you could duplicate it and then edit that one accordingly. You can delete a page, add a new page, and just like um, you know, a PowerPoint or a publisher project, they're all listed along the side here. And you can even edit the template or um, create a brand new blank template if you wanted to. Arrange will allow you to bring certain boxes to the front or back so you can change how certain boxes or pictures um, are layered according to how you want. If you wanted, this, this is um, very similar to the icons that appear on this left navigation bar, but if you wanted to use insert instead, you could insert a text box, an image, an image gallery, a video. There's something called a scrolling area 
um, that you could insert as well if you wanted a certain portion to be scrolling, um, and comments here as well. You can change the format of the text from within here. However, your text formatting tools are appearing here on the top bar um, where you could change the font and the color as well if you didn't want to go in through that way. You have the ability to share once again from the share drop down menu, but you will also have the ability to press the share button in the top right corner as well. Uh, so this tutorial has been intended to give you a brief overview of lucidpress.com, which is also available in the Google Web, um, the Chrome Web Store, if you wanted to download this as an app instead of going through the website as well. Uh, being a Google app, it is an app that works best in the Chrome browser, so I recommend that when you start using this and you create your account that you do so through the Chrome browser.